So yesterday I was in my apartment smelling fire and I thought like I left something on the stove and then I walked outside and it looked like the apocalypse <laughs> and it still looks pretty bad today but apparently there's wildfires in Canada and the wind blew those fumes conveniently over one of the most populated areas in the United States which is the mid-Atlantic northeast region. Uh, as much as I would love to believe that was an act of God, it was unusually not windy yesterday and there's barely any wind today so if the wind was powerful and strong enough to get those fires over here uh, i don't know something's not adding up and what also doesn't make any sense is that's in combination with one of the worst years for pollen like on record like people's allergies and their overall sinus and congestion health has been horrendous 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 i usually have allergies bad for like one or two weeks out of the year, but this year it's still bad. Like waking up congested with a headache every single day. So, you know, is this part of them just trying to make everyone sick as hell and miserable and continue that? Who knows, who knows, but um, I was reading through uh, the YouTube climate denial policy and all that stuff. And to my understanding, that's for the, um, that's just for the advertisements and the, the ad revenue. But, you know, it's not really worth risking uh being able to tell the truth about that stuff online because you know we, we know the government has capabilities and technology to modify the weather it's called geoengineering which is technically the legitimate version of chemtrails so yeah, we all know our government would never do anything to harm the general populace our government would never do anything to benefit themselves so there's no reason that we shouldn't trust them with this technology in their hands right 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 it's bad. It's dude. People are literally saying like, stay inside if you have congest. Like, stay inside if you have congestive issues. We just blew smoke from Canada all over you guys. You know what works really well with? This is a uh, five grams antenna right across from the house I'm currently staying at. That was conveniently pointing a signal at my head uh, a few months ago before I put my curtains in. But the point of me bringing that up is the level of technology the government has most people aren't going to understand that they can literally like put thoughts in your mind and make you angry and do all sorts of crazy stuff it's almost like uh the world is this big game to them and they don't really care about uh <laughs> about us let alone uh let alone it's just fucking crazy it's just honestly crazy it's honestly crazy when you think about it like they're spraying pollen in the air to make people fucking get sick from allergies and then blowing smoke so no one can breathe and then frying everyone's brains with these wi-fi emf devices while not saying a word about it. it's it's fucking crazy it's crazy it's absolutely crazy it's not as bad today but you know it's funny because like the weather says it's going to be sunny outside yet the whole cloud is just gray haze smoke it actually doesn't look as bad as it did yesterday like there was honestly like it looked like there was smoke in all the trees and everything and if you look if you look down it's still a little bit hazy but it's a little better today than it was last night so i'll show you guys a few things you can do to somewhat alleviate the damage from the smoke inhalation first is make sure you're grounding which greatly reduces the oxidative stress i show you guys this we got the the ground wire plugged in outside here i mean you could actually physically ground outside with the ground or a tree um but I've been plugging myself in inside. I mean, I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but I have like an air conditioner has a carbon filter in it. So I got air from outside blowing into the apartment that is passing through a filter. And then I showed you guys the filters we have in another air quality video I did. I have this running and then I have the other one in there running. And then this is the, this is the, the plug that I ground into every day. Yeah, so you definitely want to be grounding. Even if you're outside in the smoke, it's probably better to be grounded than to be inside in the stuffy air. Uh, the other thing that's really important, if you can, is to have some air filters and stuff running. I know most people can't just get their hands on that right now. I'm sure like all the stores immediately sold out. If you have like EMF Wi-Fi protection stuff, that's another very important thing because you want to reduce the overall oxidative stress on your body. Because like if you're inhaling smoke and doing stuff, if you reduce the other ones you should feel fine and be okay i sleep in the bed canopy i'm grounding every day and also very significant is the diet which we've gone over many many times if you're following a liver detox diet that will take stress off the liver allow your body to t 
to heal and do other stuff. And for the nasal flush, I take some of the iodine from organ supplements and I put some of it in this glass bottle of water and then I just flush my nose with it. We have a video on that if you guys want the full procedure. I mean, yesterday wasn't that bad, but today like my eyes are so dry and I woke up with a bad headache, so. Maybe we should file a class action lawsuit against the US government, right? For not um, for not protecting us from the cells. Yeah, I'm actually not that okay. My head fucking hurts, dude. Oh my God. What are those oxygen machines from you know what when you actually need them, right? That's my little rant for today, guys. I haven't really had the uh, brain capacity or energy to do a whiteboard video with my current uh, my current sleeping ability. But we're moving soon, so hopefully another month or two and then it'll get better. Uh, we've done some videos on climate and stuff in the past, but I told you guys I've been trying to stay away from the topic. And when I do talk about it, I can't like really go into it that much and, uh, and give a lot of detail because of the sponsorship and stuff. But if you guys want to support me, you can go to frank com and check out all of my businesses. So when the apocalypse does actually come, I'll give you guys a, a good price on meat when everyone else is sold out. And uh, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon.